The Achilles tendon taping is primarily to uh, protect the Achilles tendon. Uh, so what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna actually keep him in a plantar flex position this time as opposed to a dorsiflex position. So this is the easiest position for the athlete when they're sitting here because they can just be nice and relaxed. The foot can be kind of dangling down. We don't want him to be kind of tightened up in the position. We don't really want to be a forced plantar flex position. So he's perfect um, right here, just like that. Uh, what we want to do also is we want to, again, use our heel and lace pads. Uh, this time though, we're not going to place any uh, um, over the laces. We're just going to apply these all to the actual, the posterior side just to help protect um, the Achilles tendon uh, when the wrap goes right along because it is gonna kind of move up and down. So these are placed behind the Achilles tendon. Again, about overlapping by half. Don't necessarily need to be in a perfect position. Those are just gonna rest there. Again, they've um, uh, um, got some skim lube on there that's gonna secure that down. We're gonna take our uh, pre-wrap again just like our ankle taping and uh, secure it around the foot first, making sure that there's no wrinkles. So we're gonna start going around the, around the foot a couple times. We're gonna do that figure eight pattern where we're gonna come back around, securing those heel and lace pads into place, back around the foot. We're gonna repeat that as we move up along the foot to almost the base of the calf and secure that down. Again, making sure that there's no particular wrinkles. We're gonna take again our one and a half uh, linen tape. We're gonna apply um, anchors uh, at the base of the calf, securing it onto the skin. And this is critical that it goes on the skin. If it doesn't and it only goes onto the pre-wrap, as soon as they, uh, dorsiflex their foot, it's just gonna slide and pull that uh, tape right down if you don't have it secured onto the skin. So this is definitely recommended that they shave beforehand because it is gonna pull on the skin and we wanna make sure that um, it doesn't pull the, the hair off their skin. Now they don't have to shave, but the first time you rip the tape off, you've taken care of the problem. I'm gonna place my first anchor, again, directly on the skin over the pre-wrap. I'm going to angle this so that way it goes and lays flat so it doesn't go all the way around because the uh, calf is not a perfect cylinder. I'm going to do a second piece overlapping by about half just below so I've got a nice wide band that allows for the anchor. Then I'm going to do two anchors down at the base of the foot. It's very important that these anchors do not be adhered to do, uh, do not go on too tight. I want to get about a f uh, 12 inches. Secure the tape directly down over the top and come and angle back down towards the heel. And I'm going to do two of those. So I get a nice wide base, not too tight. One of the biggest complaints that athletes have is when you do this too tight and they step down and their foot spreads out, that creates that to be very uncomfortable. It cuts off a nerve that comes along the lateral malleolus and attaches onto the fifth metatarsal. So now that we have our anchors done, we're gonna um, uh, get some elastic bandage tape. Uh, it's sticky on one side, but it allows it to stretch. This is called Elasticon. But there's all kinds of different options that you can actually use for this. I'm going to measure from the base of the um, where the calf is down to the foot down to where that anchor is to get you know a piece probably about 15 inches uh, in length once that's i've got that piece i've actually pre-cut one i'm going to take my scissors and i'm actually going to cut two small strips into the bandage so that way I can secure these onto the leg. So what this is going to do is I come from the back side and I spread it open a little bit and pull that and secure that actually to my anchors 
towards the top of the foot. From the back side, I'm going to pull this nice and nice and secure and nice and tight, and wrap that down around the foot just like that. Now these pieces won't stay, so I'm going to secure them down with an anchor up at the top and secure them down with an anchor down at the bottom. Now, depending on the size of the athlete, you might have to repeat this uh, step a couple of times. One may not necessarily be enough. Sometimes it takes two, sometimes it takes three, but you'll notice when they go into dorsiflexion, it pulls that tight and then the elastic properties are gonna wanna pull him back into plantar flexion. That takes the tension off of the Achilles tendon. Now you could leave this just like that, but sometimes the, um, the wrap gets you know, stuck into place, uh, or sometimes the, the tape gets um, kind of caught on the sock, so it's not a very um, comfortable position. So one of the things that we want to do is we want to grab some elastic tape. What this does is because it's elastic, this can just go and wrap around securing that down into place. The sock can go on, it's securing it into place, and it's not really um, uh, restricting any of the motion because it's all uh, elastic tape. So you can use PowerFlex for this, you can use any type of elastic adhesive you know, tape in order to do that. So again, when you're done, have them step down. Make sure it's, make sure it's applying the enough um, attention in the back so that way it takes all the pressure off the Achilles tendon. Check for circulation and they should be good to go.